All right, let's uh, continue to learn the classification of states. First, let's review um, the definition of a state being recurrent. It says, the markup chain will re-enter state I. Actually, I forgot to write down. It should be with probability one. It means we'll always return once we've left this state, which means for recurrent state I, once we re enter. This state and this event, this event of re entering, okay, this event happens with probability one. Then, because of markup chains are memoryless due to the memory less property of markup chain. It is as if we start over again from this state I. It is as if we start over from state I again. Now, if we repeat this argument, so repeating this argument of probability one being re enter the state of re entering. And the Markovian property, which is memoryless, once we've entered the state, it's like a, a Markov chain restarted. Memoryless. So these two actually implies that if a state is a recurrent, If a state i is uh, recurrent, i will be visited infinitely often. Or infinitely times. And because we only have two types of uh, two types of the states, which is recurrent or transient, this naturally implies um, for transient states. For transient states, the case is is a bit uh, complicated. But let me write down um, the uh, conclusion first, and later we'll derive uh, uh, theoretically. Uh, why this is a case. So for transient state, starting from a transient state I, the expected number of time periods this MC is in state I is finite next we have the following proposition 
which is uh, proposition um, 4.1, we say that state i is recurrent if from 1 to infinity the sum of this uh, n step transition probability sum up to uh, infinity and uh, it's transient if this sum is finite. And now let's uh, let's uh, derive it. It's uh, pretty straightforward, so we'll learn. We'll use something we learned before. That's called indicator function. We define an indicator function that's y and zero for this markup chain if it is at state i at time n. So. during time m, then our indicator function is 1. If at time n we are not at state i, then we say uh, this indicator function is 0. Then what happens is uh, then the summation of this indicator function from 0 to infinity is so this is a number of periods. This MC is in state I. Apparently, keep this in mind. So it doesn't matter if we start from 0 or 1, because normally when we consider a state being transient or recurrent is we start from state i at time zero, which means i i zero is because normally we assume i zero is one normally because we are interested in state i being transient or recurrent and now we compute this uh, expected value, the expectation of the time period of this markup chain spent in state i given we start at i. And uh, this is, okay, so let me write down a formula here to uh, recall. If we have a sum of random variables, and we suppose the expectation of each one is uh, is finite, okay, then we have this uh, sum. And by a uh, monotone convergent theorem, we can let this n go to infinity and uh, we can interchange the integral and the limit. So for infinity right here, it's okay as well. And we have this infinite sum of the expectation, we can write down it as uh, the uh, expectation. And the, by the definition of indicator function, this is nothing but the indicator function is one multiplied with the probability of uh, xn is i, x zero is i plus zero dot with 
xn is not i, while x0 is i. And this is a, actually the same thing as, because the second term right here is 0. Um, it is the sum of the first term. And while this term right here is nothing but the in-step transition probability from i to i. So this is p sub i i and the n-step transition probability. As we can see, all right, this is the expected value of this uh, markup chain spent at uh, state i. And we've derived that it's this sum. And this sum is either, so, This sum in the infinity, if i is recurrent, it's less than infinity if i is transient. So now let's see a simple example. which is uh, example 4.17 on textbook, given this uh, transition, one step transition probability matrix, which is zero, zero, half, half, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero. Even though we have lots of zeros and yet we have no absorbing states, let's draw the diagram. State zero, one, two, three. From state zero, we have a 0.5 chance that this uh, markup chain goes to state two. And we have a 0.5 chance of this markup chain go to uh, state three. Now let's look at state two. If we start from zero, we have 50% uh, of chance go to state two. Once we're at state two, and we have 100% uh, of chance, this markup chain goes to state one. Let's draw state one here. And similarly, once we've entered state three, from state three, it has a probability of one to go to state one as well. Lastly, we look at state one. State one goes back to state zero with probability one. It so what happens is it's like uh, if we start from state zero, um, so we're sure go to either two or three, but once we've entered two or three, we're sure go to state one, and from state one, we're well, hundred percent will go back to zero, and this is like a, a cycle. So each state, if we let this markup chain run infinitely and each then each state will be visited uh, infinitely many times and what happens is all states are recurrent and in next video we're gonna learn some uh, more property about uh, uh, transient versus uh, recurrent um, 